I'm going to show you how you can use formula fields in the mini extensions form. So by default, you can add formula fields to your form, but those formulas would not be recalculated when other values on the form change. This is why we added the new feature called compute mode. In compute mode, you can recalculate those formulas when other values change. So let me show you what I mean here in the demo. So we got a form here embedded. I have a piece of furniture that's selected. That piece of furniture costs $150. I want to set a quantity for it and see the total cost. Now total cost is a formula field. It is price per unit multiplied by quantity. So if I change quantity, I'd want the total cost to be updated. So let's do that. I'm gonna change quantity from one to two. You'll see that that confirm button now becomes a calculate button. When I click on calculate, I get the updated values for the formula and then I can confirm. I go back to Airtable, 150, 2, and 300. So let's go ahead and set this feature up now. I'm going to assume that you've already set up a mini extensions form. If you haven't, please follow this video to do so. I'm going to set up the same demo that you saw earlier. So I'm going to choose furniture item for the linked record field here. I'm going to have my price per unit lookup field that you saw earlier, the quantity field, and the total, co total cost field that you saw earlier. So let's go ahead and actually uh, enable the compute mode. So you'll want to click on advanced, go to formulas here, and then enable compute mode. So after this, you'll see check a confirmation checkbox field. You'll want to create a checkbox field in your table. Um, I have this right here. So you'll want to create a field. Um, the type would be checkbox and name this field um, like confirmed or something like that. I'll explain what this does in a minute here. Um, once you do that, sync your base and then select it here. I'm just gonna, instead of doing all of that, I'm just gonna select the existing one I have, but just create a new one, sync your base and select the checkbox field here. So I'm gonna select this right here and I'll explain this in a minute. Let's go ahead and save and try this out. So I'm gonna click here. Let's check out that form. I'm gonna select the same item we did earlier. Um, price per unit here is 150. Let's do for quantity six. See 900, click submit. And yeah, so that's the record that we just created. Cool. Now, what is that confirmed field? Okay. So when you're in compute mode, what's happening is when I create a new form like this, how are we getting the formula back? The way we're getting the formula back is we're actually creating a record in Airtable when you click on the compute mode for the first time. So um, if I have, for example, if I select this record and I select quantity nine and then click compute, right? I haven't saved yet, but I did click compute. What does this look like in Airtable? So if I go to Airtable, you'll see that that record got created, even though I haven't clicked on that save button, right? So this is a really important thing to understand. Records are created when you're computing because that's the only way to get for us to get that formula back. Now, what we do is we give you this checkbox. This checkbox tells you whether or not the user clicked on that very last save button, like whether or not the user actually finalized that computation or not. Since I haven't clicked on the save button, you'll see that the, the checkbox here is not checked, right? Now, what happens if I save? All right, let's go back here. You'll see that that record got moved up here because it got checked. So really the goal is create these records as the user is using the form, update these records as the user is using the form, and then check them once the user confirms. Now, what does this look like if I'm editing records? Let's try this out. So I'm gonna try to edit this record right here using my form. So let's just open up that record in the form. So this is an editing mode. So I'm editing that record. As you can see, because I'm editing, there's nothing to compute initially. So it's only a save button. Now, what if I change this to eight? Let's change this to eight and then I click compute. So I computed. Right, but I haven't saved that eight change. So when I go back, you'll notice that confirmed is now unchecked because while I'm editing it, although I have made changes, although I have updated some values, I've only calculated those updates. I haven't confirmed my submission. So the way to think of it is every time you calculate, we uncheck this box. Every time you submit, we check this box. 
So let me go ahead and submit here. Yep, you see that checkbox go up there. Really the goal is to tell you whether or not the user is still calculating or the user has finalized their submission. The last thing to discuss here is the compute button title. If you wanna have a custom title, feel free to add whatever title here and then we'll change the title. And if you wanna change the title for the save button, you can do the same thing here and just change that save button to whatever title you want. 